beauty brand owner that is struggling to make sales and also keep the customers that you get this video is for you as i'll be sharing with you five tips that are going to help you market your business effectively and retain more customers so make sure to watch this video till the end because the last tip is going to be how exactly you can retain your customers now we're starting something new on this channel i am going to start giving shout outs as a way to show appreciation to all my subscribers so if you want to be one of the people that are featured in my next video all you have to do is either comment down below telling me what your business sells or you can actually either record a snippet of this video or screenshot this and post this on your TikTok or Instagram stories. But please remember to tag me. Let's jump straight into it. The first thing I want us to actually talk about is finding a gap in the market. The best thing that you can do in order to differentiate your business is to find what people are asking for and actually cater for that. And the best example that I can give you for this is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. They made sure to give people exactly what they wanted which was a wide range of foundation shades which allowed dark-skinned women to actually have foundation that matches their skin tone as you can see with Fenty Beauty all they did was identify a problem in the market and actually find a solution to it this is something that people have been asking for now let's talk about exactly how you can do that for your own business firstly you need to hear back from people get feedback from people and the best way that you can do so is to have questionnaires and surveys that you're sending to your prospective customers but after all people are not always willing to give you information or feedback for free so the best thing that you can do is actually have something else that you're giving in return for the feedback that you'd be getting from them so this means you can create a little ebook that has different makeup looks and how exactly to achieve those makeup looks just make sure that whatever it is that you're going to be giving people in exchange for getting that feedback on the questionnaire or the survey that you would have given them make sure that it somehow relates to your business number two when it comes to marketing your business you need to make sure that you're making it easy for your customers to not only find your products but also buy from you and i think the best example for this tip is kylie cosmetics they have vending machines that actually sell their products which is working really well because one not many makeup brands actually do that or cosmetic brands actually do that and so that's something that you can actually learn from them find a way to make your products convenient find a way to make it easier for your customers who actually come to you and buy from you don't have so many difficult steps when it comes to actually buying from you first they have to DM you then they have to go through your website after your website the checkout uh, process is so long you are sending people away maybe your content is actually really good but because of the way it's so hard for people to actually buy from you they're not gonna buy from you people want something that's very fast that's very easy that is convenient so make sure that you're making it easier for your customers to actually buy from you and by the way this was an example it does not mean that you have to have vending machines selling your product which would it would be a good idea but <laughs> just make sure that you're on top of mind for your customers and that you are making it easier for your customers to actually buy from you which is why i always say that especially if you're a beauty brand you need to make sure that you do have a website instead of asking people to dm you because that process is long let's not lie to ourselves so get a website you can use shopify to create your own website as they are a website builder that helps e-commerce brands create their own websites shopify makes it very easy for you to actually get customers and get that website up and running by the way this is not sponsored <laughs> we wish it was but three is building a community by having a common belief now here's the thing if you want to actually build a community around your business you need to make sure that you actually stand for something and that you're communicating what exactly you believe in and what exactly you actually stand for and so this will actually get your loyal customers who have the same beliefs that you have and want to support the same thing that you support as well and the best example that i can give you for this is rare beauty by selena gomez which stands for shaping positive conversations around beauty self-acceptance and mental health something that i've seen that they actually do is having rare beauty mental health summits where people who support their brand are actually going to come together for this summit to listen to what 
professionals in the mental health industry have to say and actually learn from them as well this is an opportunity for rare beauty to not only have conversations around mental health but to also promote their products because you see rare beauty products everywhere let's talk about how you can do so for your business firstly you need to figure out what is it that you actually stand for what are you trying to actually do with your business yes we all start businesses because we want to make money but there has to be an underlying thing that you are trying to achieve some impact that you're trying to make in the world because that's what's going to actually um get people to connect with you better and get people to actually want to support you as well because after all people don't owe you support it's up to you to actually convince people to support you so make sure that you know what exactly it is that you actually stand for I want to help women attain financial freedom the same way I want to attain financial freedom because I feel like being able to go wherever I want to go and you know do whatever it is that I want to do without ever having to worry about money is something that not only I want to achieve but other women would want to achieve as well so that's what I'm going to have conversations about that's what I'm going to be talking to people about and people who stand with me and want to achieve achieve the same thing as me are actually going to want to support me because of that so all i'm saying is it does not have to be you trying to change the world because yeah not all of us are going to change the world okay but do what you can figure out what it is that you actually really are passionate about it could be gender equality that you stand for it could be um you know standing for the lgbtq a lot of yeah. It could be standing for the LGBTQI community and um, and their rights and so on. Figure out what it is that you want to stand for and actually start communicating that with your audience. So they can attract people who have the same beliefs as you, who also stand for what you stand for as well. Number four is then social proof. Now here's the thing, when I'm talking about social proof, I'm talking about your reviews, your testimonials and so on. You need to make sure that you're asking your previous customers for reviews. That means sometimes you might have to give them something in exchange. So the best way that you can actually go about it, which I've mentioned quite a few times, is you can have thank you cards that encourage your customers to actually sharing a review, doing an unboxing video, or also like sharing the makeup look they were able to achieve, telling them that they should just tag you in that post. You need to make sure that you are finding ways to then give back to people who actually do that, whether you're going to give them 10% of the next order, whatever it is that you can do to show appreciation for them actually sharing that review that testimonial and so on but please make sure that you put a lot of importance into actually getting uh testimonials and reviews because the same way that before you buy anything on amazon or take a lot wherever it is that you're buying stuff you always check the reviews you always check what other people had to say about these products you need to make sure that you're doing the same thing for your business people want to see what other people had to say about your products give people an opportunity to leave reviews on your website showcase the reviews that you do get from people a brand that you can learn from is queen's cosmetics they have a lot of testimonials and this actually helps them when it comes to backing up the fact that their products are as good as they say they are which is very helpful because they do get comments on their tiktok about how their products are too expensive and then they're actually able to then back up the fact that the reason why their products are that expensive is because they are high quality and they're not just saying that they're high quality but they actually share reviews I'll share a video just now so you can see what exactly I'm talking about. One thing I always prioritize no matter how big we get is quality. I picked up my $128 Pat McGrath palette which is arguably the best eyeshadow formula on the market just to show you guys this. The formula is so buttery and creamy the lighting doesn't even matter. Let's see what some friends have right, to say about it though. I just found one of the best multi-chrome shadows that I've ever used. And I tried so many duochromatic shadows and this is just next level wow oh my gosh if you are into the, i'm like honestly we're done this is like this is an a plus palette i'm so in love with this <laughs> like it's so ridiculous how in love i am lastly let's finally talk about how to keep your customers coming back to you and that is through personalizing the experience I have seen someone that actually does this the best. I think her name on TikTok is Beautified by Mana. She's a lash tag that has a customer record book on her iPad where she actually keeps all the details 
from customers that actually are coming to her she does this by having intake forms that they fill up the first time they ever come to her and that way she's able to then compile all their information and make sure that she has all the details that she needs the fact that she does that one shows that she actually cares about each customer that comes to her two it allows her to actually get them to keep coming back because as soon as you have your customers preference it would be much easier for them to just go back to their ledge tag who knows everything that they need and knows exactly how they want their stuff to look like okay rather than having to change to a different ledge tag every single time our bonus to add to all of this when you have the information of your customers you need to make sure that you are sending sms or email reminders reminders so if your customer came maybe at the beginning of the month you know that in two weeks time guys i'm not really good with lashes okay because i've never had yeah but maybe in two weeks time they need to come back to get it filled again is that how it works i don't know okay like let me know in the comments how exactly lash works or if you guys even put on lashes but anywho so so maybe in two weeks they'll need to come back and get their lashes filled again so you send them a reminder after the two weeks hey remember that you need to get your lashes um filled again then after a month when you know that you know they've had their lashes on and most probably you know they need to change them now send them an email telling them that they can actually come at the end of the month and you're giving you're going to give them a 10 percent discount or something find a way to actually get your customers who want to come back send sms's or emails telling people that they can come back for their next order and show them how whatever it is that you're going to be uh selling to them give them a little discount which is going to entice them to actually want to buy from you that works so use that to actually get people to keep buying from you what i can guarantee you right now is that if you use these five tips that i've given you you are going to start seeing more sales for your business and you're going to see your customer retention rate increase so please make sure that you actually use everything that i have told you because it is very important for your business i can tell you now all of the steps all of these tips that i give you are actionable tips that are going to help you when it comes to getting more customers and increasing retention rate after everything that i've served you today make sure that you actually hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so because i still have a lot that i want to share with you and i have a whole series that i'm going to be doing on marketing different types of businesses so you can always let me know in the comments what business you have and i'll make sure to tag you when i finally post that video but make sure to subscribe like this video i'll see you ladies in the next video